and good morning from Ketchikan. It is day six of our Alaskan cruise, and we are here to do the aerial rappel and zip line course. So why don't you come along with us and have some fun? Excellent. Tours this way. This is the building right off the ship here in Ketchikan stop where we go to meet up for our zip line. It's also a gift shop, it appears, on the way out. You can stop and get some goodies. You guys excited? Yeah. I'm actually really excited. Wait. This is the baby zip line right here. We are here at the aerial rappel and zip line course with Kawanti Adventures I'm so scared. in Ketchikan, it's Alaska. The it's the baby one and I'm scared. Now whenever you're Give me a big smile. <laughs> this is the baby practice practice line here. They just gave us a demonstration and uh we're on our way our party is up next and i'm going to be the last one to go here goes lauren i was excited i was kind of scared <laughs> all right we are good to go Woo! great is up next I'm gonna check it out right on here. sure okay right there all right you're good to go <laughs> Good. Awesome. Yep. How'd that feel? Good. Good. So that was the first of how many, Alex? Uh, that was line zero. You oh, that was just the practice. Get, you get seven more. Okay. Excellent. We caught that. Did you like it? Yeah. I wasn't nervous. You were. You were a little nervous. You were a little nervous. Were you nervous? Yeah. I was the tide. I was the tide. I was like one percent nervous. So that was line zero. I was Our guide said that was line zero, so there's seven, seven, we're just starting at one now and we go, we have seven lines to do. All right, everybody, these first few lines are bunny slopes if you've ever been skiing before. <laughs> so keep that in mind, you might not even need to break, so be sure to listen out for that call and not to break too early. Braid is first. I, I didn't know I was going first. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Breda. Yeah. Clear, Natalie, Natalie. All right, you're good to go. Okay. Woo! Perfect. <laughs> Have you stand up for me? You can grab onto these red things. Oh, that's okay. a good spot. Cool. You grab onto those red things, that's a good spot for you. How was it, Toria? That was <laughs> Step on it, right. <laughs> Go on there. <laughs> She's doing her balancing act. All right, come on towards me. This way. Let me see if I can get Lauren. Here comes Lauren. Break, break, break. We're going to practice that. How was it? <laughs> it was yes. Come on this way. Guys, that was fun. <laughs> Maybe I could just jump off of there. I could be doing bungee jumping. Oh no. <laughs> break, break, break. <laughs> the line is going so fast. How do you break? Yeah, the line is going fast. You I don't want to like, dislocate my shoulder. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be like a gradual thing. But he said that. You don't even need to break. All right, come on down. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't even need to break. I didn't really need to break, but Wait, I break really a little bit. So. What are you going to do? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like, We are in the middle of a forest. <clears throat> oh, my land, I can't do it anymore. Break, break, break. Looking out for bears. 
The rain is starting to come down. Oh yeah, remember you can go faster if you want. By leaning back and tucking. I should probably master the... <laughs> the braking first before you try to go faster. <laughs> Platform moves a little bit. It's a little move. It's a little... No. We would just be hanging on the tree <laughs> yeah. the platform goes. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. We would just be hanging yeah, on the tree. Yeah, we would be. Well, we, didn't, we would like jumble together. Like, summer. Yeah. 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 That would be a good movie. <laughs> like, stuck on the tree by a zip line. Could you imagine? Unbuckle. Yeah, horrible. Unbuckles. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty confusing. You guys don't gotta worry about it. I'm a real pro. You might be able to tell my like blue quarter zip. <laughs> I'll give this to everybody. You know? It's official. It's yeah. official. What does tapping the head mean? It's just good luck. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's clear to zip. I don't uh. want to change my radio. Uh. I thought it was like a Star Wars, like something's wrong with the comms. <laughs> <laughs> or Star Wars. You know, yeah. I like that better. Yeah, you know, the platform wobbles a little bit. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> to really get it to wobble, you gotta go towards the outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's too big. They're all Western headlocks. These things can be 1,200 years old. Oh, overboard. <laughs> this one's not, but they can be. This one's probably three to five. Pretty darn. Three to five hundred? Yeah. This is Victoria's first time hey, ziplining, right? I saw right? you feathering yeah. the brick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not scared at all. I'm actually Okay, good. Raider right on the scale. There goes Lauren. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Lauren. All right, step on up. Woo! All right, what was your name? Victoria. Just, wait, aren't you guys stopping at Victoria British Columbia next? Yeah. We are tomorrow. That, that place has your name! <laughs> <laughs> Victoria in Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> How long are you guys going to be uh, there? It's only a four hour stop. Okay. It's like, short. it's very short. Did you do any excursions or anything? Did you book any excursions? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, we're going to go to Tim Hortons and get donuts and nice. walk around a little bit and then get back on the ship. Step on down. It's like an 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. to midnight stop. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a weird four hours. There goes Victoria. Bye, Victoria. All right, top, top. What's the weight capacity of these lines? Oh, so much. 180? So much. <laughs> Way over that. Uh, and you're good to go. All right, thanks. Yeah. Woo! Work, 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 work. All right, go and grab these red tiger tails right here for me. Go and pop that top step. Here comes Breda. Come on, Breda. Legs up. Coming in hot. And break, 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 break. you go buggy jumping. Oh my gosh. I'm about to go. Okay, Lauren's up. Here goes Victoria. Where are you guys from? Houston, Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Left all that delicious food <laughs> yeah. for this. Salmon. <laughs> salmon. A lot yeah. of salmon. Oh, the ways up the salmon here costs. Look, in Houston, Alaska wild caught salmon. I'm paying the same amount. Yeah. Salmon out here. Like, yeah. What's with that? <laughs> yeah. Why is that? I, I don't know. I complain to every waiter every chance I get. Every chance I get. Okay. I'm like, what is what is happening? Does it taste better? It's not the same. Same. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you tell us like a smidge fresher? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. But I mean, it's I'm pretty sure it. they, for Houston, Texas, they one day air everything. Yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Clear, Natalie, Natalie, clear. Right. Yeah, we were kind of like shocked at how expensive the I'm king crab sneak legs were. Over here. Oh, next up is Repel. Alrighty, you're good to go. Alright. Let her rip. Hang 10. Woo! Oh! Look at that. That was sure something. Yeah. Thank you. you come up on the other side? <laughs> other I was, side. I was, <laughs> the, the issue is I'm saying perfect for everybody and I'm trying to change what I'm saying. Next up is Repel I hear. Oh yeah. What is Repel? Uh, what you're about to do. You go down. Oh. Clear Natalie, Natalie, clear. Here comes mom. Breda. 
Brave, brave, brave! Splendid. It's swaying a little bit. The guy said earlier, he said, Do you want to see a magic trick? And what? Yeah, you want to see a magic trick? I can create an earthquake. <laughs> I like the Shakira joke better. <laughs> yeah, you know what we name all the trees? Shakira, because they move their hips. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we, we're going to go off this a little bit differently than we went off of those zip lines. Main reason why is because if you sit down like we told you to do in your harness for the zip lines, you're just going to sit down on the platform and not go anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we're on a pirate ship and Natalie's our captain. And we just made our captain angry because we stole gold. So what's she gonna make us do? Watch the plane. Exactly. So, whenever she tells you you're good to go, all you're gonna do is take a nice, confident step off that platform. <laughs> they control your speed, okay? You kick off the tree. And you can do hi-yah if you want. There goes Lauren. Woo! <laughs> Stay with me, okay? I will do that. It's just reaction. Lauren, how was it? Whenever you're ready, go ahead. I didn't say I was going to ride. I go like this. I go like this. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I sure hope so. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. All right, I'm going to have you spin this easy. way and put your back on the tree. That was easy. Oh, yeah. Go, Breda. <laughs> Just... <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> That's more your speed. <laughs> this tree, I can't get over how much it moves. It might be the scariest part of the whole thing. That one's scary. There's the next line over there. I don't think you should lean up against this. <laughs> there goes Breda. Uh, <laughs> all clear. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan. Here goes Lauren. Nah, and I get that. <laughs> All right, stand up right here. <laughs> How'd it go? Good, that's what I did for me. <laughs> All right, step off. No. There's three left. There's three left. All right, this troublemaker. This is three and then two more. <laughs> there's a one repel. Is there? Yeah, there's two repels. Oh, okay. Do you see any bears down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody. This is our photo platform. It is also our longest line at 650 feet. If we look uh -huh. down there, we'll see our photographer waving back at us. Woo! There's some rules for this line. Rule number one, keep one hand on the handlebar at all times. You don't want to be doing a maneuver called the helicopter where you spin out of control and get stuck in the middle of the line. That's no fun. Rule number two, I know photographers have been doing horrible things to us in the past, but no flipping off the camera. That is super important. <laughs> And rule number three, where there's a will, there's a way, so I'm shutting it down right now. No nudity. All right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boo. <laughs> See the photo seeing the little hut up there? There's a uh, photographer. Me rocket. Try to pick up your legs, the cannonball position, the first part of this line. The line goes back up at the end, so I recommend doing the cannonball once you see that okay. left overhanging tree then you can do your pose. Okay, because you don't want to lose too much speed too soon, okay? That's what she's saying. Yeah. You got to keep your speed up. I'm not doing the meat rocket. I'm not doing it. Lauren, I have a feeling Lauren's going to get stuck on this one. Yeah. Lauren, you better not get stuck. Yeah. Remember to pose for the camera past the tree, Victoria. Here goes Victoria on the longest line. 
650 feet. Let her rip. Ready? One, two. There goes Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you get up on this top step. Hold it. That's the one all about. Excellent. <laughs> she put her arm out. She did a peace sign. Good to go. All right, Lauren. Don't break too soon. You get stuck in the middle. <laughs> Cannonball, Lauren. There's Lauren waving. <laughs> she waved quickly. Uh oh. Alright, you're good to go. Good? Alright. Let her rip, hang 10. Don't try to the home kid. I am a professional. Hello there. A little hot? Yeah. Have you stand up on the other <laughs> side? <laughs> little hot. Break, yeah. break, break. Stand up right there. I was about to say, I could be pulled in. Clear now, Natalie, clear. Dad, I had to be pulled in. I could tell, we could tell. I braked in. I braked early. I didn't break in. I braked early. And so. I was there. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> break, break, break! <laughs> I came in hot. Yeah. I was coming in fast. <laughs> <laughs> I feel more comfortable on this platform. <laughs> we have two more lines to do, I think, guys. <laughs> the big one, you just, <laughs> you don't remember it? <laughs> I, we saw you, you like took your hand off, you're still waving, and you're like. <laughs> You need an underwear change when we get back to the oh ship. <laughs> <laughs> this is the almost the end. How do you do the knee change? Just put your feet up. You oh. put you your put back. your you lean you lean back and, and tuck your knees to your chest. Here we go. Stand up on the other no, side for me. The whole thing. You can Stand up right there. Break, break, break. That's why we put the booty there. Have you standing up on that block? Yeah, except nothing's loaded for me right now. I'm having a hard time. Yeah, I got You alright? Yeah. I was going fast. Yeah, you were. Yeah, we're starting to pick up speed. She's just getting comfortable with it, just as we're coming to an end. No, no, yeah, that's how it usually is clear, Natalie. Here comes Victoria. Break, break, break. <laughs> look at that. Pro, look at that pro. Here comes Breda. Well, it'd be too much, yeah. The lines would be way too fast. The braking wouldn't be the thing. Break, break, break. <laughs> and then if things freeze up, it's kind of like, uh, a little dangerous. A little dangerous. Yeah. Great job, little Breda. Dangerous. Killing it out there. <laughs> One more, guys. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Um, all right, good to go. It'll come to you. Yeah, Lauren. Right there is good. We just finished the zipline course and it was so much fun. I did film it on the GoPro with the helmet attachment. It was so fun. It was so fun watching the kids do it. There's actually seven zip lines and then there were two repel elements. And my GoPro died just at the very end. Uh, but it got most of it and it was so much fun. I'd highly recommend coming here and uh, experiencing this with Kawanti Adventures. We are gonna go inside now and they have our photos that we can purchase from the tour. So we're gonna go do that and I'm gonna look around the gift shop and maybe grab a coffee. It was a really early morning this morning. The alarm went off at like 5.55 a.m. and we, had, we were at our meetings place at, off the ship by 6.45 a.m and we were zip lining by 7.30. And I don't even know what time it is now, but it's still morning, I think. So we're gonna head back uh, after we look through the gift shop and grab some food. Outside of the gift shop here after the zip line tour. Looks like a polar bear. 
They have some cool things in here. I actually really like this t-shirt right here. Alaska, may the north be with you. Ending up buying this t-shirt, it is $26.50. We're also buying a shot glass that says Alaska on it, that's $3.99. I actually did try this t-shirt on, <laughs> made sure it fit. And Victoria is getting the Alaska, the Great Land coloring book. <laughs> and here is some salve that is made from Devil's Club, which is one of the plants we saw on our hike the other day. If you haven't watched that video where we went to Herring Cove Trail, make sure that you check that video out too. I did get that coffee. It was a very early morning, like I was saying. Just coming over here to check out these totems that are out here. Quite fascinating. The chief pull. One of the chief's job is to welcome you. Here the chief's hands are held out which symbolizes welcome. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Ketchikan. There's a bunch more totems over here. The artwork is so intricate. I like that one right there. Rawr. I guess we have time because Brad is coming back. We didn't miss the bus. We did miss. We we did miss the bus. Oh, you have time to come see the totems for a second. We are back on the bus. Our tour has ended. It was a wonderful time. We all got these medals. Awarding us for our accomplishment of surviving through the zipline course. We are now headed back to the ship to enjoy the rest of the day. For a ride this Creek Street, I'm slowing down as much as I possibly can for you guys. Uh, grab some photos. Uh, I really am sorry that I can't drop you off in town today. Uh, I think there would be a very good chance, uh, if I did, that you guys would get left behind. Um, well, There's the famous Creek Street. There we go, we saw it. <laughs> Thank you for the tour of Creek Street. We are now off the bus and back at the giant warehouse gift shop in Ward Cove, which is where the ship docks for Norwegian. And the kids have found some sweaters that they like. This is one of the biggest gift shops I've ever seen. A lot, a lot of nice stuff in here. They found actually found some sweaters, I'll show you show them to you in a minute, that are only $20. There's also a clearance section here that I think the kids just went over to. Taught them right. Go check out the clearance section. They also have some live music here. Oh yeah. Where are you from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Do you have a favorite song or singer or band that you'd like to hear? Uh Piano Man. Oh. We haven't done the one today. You guys are doing a fabulous job. Thank you. Well, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. Oh, la di da da di da. Do it with me, right? La da da di da. Sing us a song in the piano broad. Sing us a song tonight. Love it, love it. You know, things are really not badly priced here in this big warehouse gift shop. Victoria's gonna get this sweater. It's only $20, $19.99. Show the sweater, Victoria. That's a really nice sweater. Breda's actually gonna get one too. And Lauren is gonna also get one. Yeah. It's gonna be the matching triplets sweater. And the girls are also getting these little bags of rocks. These really decorative rocks. You fill up each, you fill up the bag with whatever rocks you want out of the giant bin of rocks, and it's seven dollars for the bag. And Breda is also going to get this beanie. It's only nine ninety nine. There's a Barry Potter Alaska T-shirt, nineteen ninety nine. We paid for all of our gear. It even comes in a nice souvenir bag. The mill at Ward Cove, Ketchikan, Alaska. Hey guys, last step on Alaskan soil right here. Because next time we get off the ship, 
We'll be in Canada. We'll be in Canada. Everybody come over here. Walk on Alaskan soil. We were about to board the ship. No, I also got earrings. Victoria has her new Alaskan earrings in. Lauren has her bag of rocks and her medal. All right, guys. Say goodbye to Alaskan soil. Bye, Alaskan soil. As you're getting back onto the ship, they do have trays of complimentary hot chocolate ready for your enjoyment. The kids don't miss one of those. We are back on the ship and we are hungry. Don't forget that they do have this stand out here every day that we're sailing away from port for lunch. I'm getting some clam chatter today with a breadstick. It's really tasty. It's got a little bit of spice to it. And we are seated outside on the deck again underneath the heat lamps. Right over here, the buffet inside was packed and we are seated right out here as we depart Ketchikan. This clam chatter, I'm not sure if it's because it's kind of chilly outside and it's warm, but clam chatter is hot. And it's just like kind of the environment to eat clam chatter, but it is really tasty. Back inside the buffet here at Taste of Asia, they do have hot and sour carrots, some chicken and Thai basil stir fry. And I have my eyes on the steamed vegetables over here that I'm gonna add to some Indian food. And don't forget at the very back of the Garden Cafe Buffet, there is a full bar. You can order your beverages back here. We've been ordering ours just out by the pool because we mostly sit outside when we eat at the buffet because inside is so crowded and I enjoy the fresh air more so anyways under the heat lamps. So I started off with the clam chowder outside and now I have the curry, the steamed broccoli, the naan bread, some mint sauce, papadam, and of course, the mango chutney. Let's go back outside, get out of this crazy zone. This is standard lunch traffic. Walking by the carving station here, they always have some yummy looking things here. We got a stew, some rice and peas, roasted potatoes, some Cuban chicken, and some soy marinated strip loin. And over here at the pasta station, they always do have some sort of plain pasta in case you have a child who doesn't want anything on their pasta. It is here for the taking. Today is linguine, yesterday it was uh, a different type of pasta, but it's just it's plain pasta, and Victoria has been enjoying that all week. Again, the bottleneck, same thing every day. Doing some recon here at the buffet, where the hot entree station meets the dessert station. That is always the most crowded, so you want to navigate around that. The line to get the hot entrees goes all the way back in that direction. And the pizza station always has a little bit of a line. It is the only place on the ship, as far as I know, to get pizza, unless I've missed something. Burger bar over there, also a popular spot. They do have a couple salad bars. There's one here and then there's one at the back. They have four soft serve. Oh, look at you guys. Ran, look who I ran into. Lauren got herself some ice cream and toppings. Victoria got herself an ice cream cone. That's not the soft serve though, is it? That is. Oh, that's soft serve? Yeah, it's a swirl. But that's from the ice cream station? Yeah, it's from the ice cream. What flavors did you get? Uh, cookies and cream and chocolate. Cookies and cream and chocolate. All right, I'll see you guys outside. Okay. We got some bald eagles flying around out here. Oh, I down. Okay. I'm oh, they're coming back. Nope, they're going away. Towards the back of the ship on floor 16 is something called the marketplace that has completely been unused the entire time we've been here. There is, uh, it looks possibly like there used to be some sort of food being served here. Been absolutely nothing while we've been here. We actually just got up from an hour and a half nap we were all very tired from getting up so early this morning uh, to go on the excursion, the zipline excursion. 
So we had a 90 minute nap and now uh, we took Lauren to the teen entourage lounge and we tried to take Victoria to the kids club, but it was, it had reached maximum capacity and we joined the virtual queue. They will notify me via the app messaging system, notification system, if a spot becomes available, but it's only open for another hour before it closes again. We'll reopen again later. One thing I do wish, like I meant, might have mentioned before in a previous vlog, is that I wish the teen center and the, um, the kids center, that the times that they were open were coordinated better because they're not always open at the exact same time. And if you have one kid that goes to one club and one kid that goes to the other club, it doesn't make much sense to just drop one off and still have one kid. Uh, it would be great to get rid of both of them for a couple hours. So it's a little harder to coordinate that. We have come back to the observation lounge. Taking a better look here at this huge model of the Norwegian Bliss. It's quite fun to look at. There's the water slide that goes out over the ocean and the racetrack in the back. This is the adult area at the back. We actually haven't been to that yet. Again, if the kids clubs were open at better times and coordinated better, then we would probably have more of an opportunity to go to the adult area. Here at the Observation Lounge Bar, very busy. Today, it's actually raining right now as we're sailing away out of Ketchikan. Not much to see out the windows, a lot of fog in the distance and rain. But the bar is a very happening spot. We've gone ahead and got the espresso martini. It is dinner time and we are back in the Manhattan dining room. The ship is moving. This is the most movement on the ship we've felt since we've been on it. It's quite noticeable. I wouldn't be surprised if a wine glass fell over at some point. But we are here to uh, get some food in us. And, uh, and then Victoria wants to get back to the kids club, so we're in a little bit of a time crunch. Taking a look here at the menu in the main dining room on day six of our cruise, we have ordered multiple coconut shrimp. We've also ordered the Italian meatballs and the hummus. The bruschetta has been there every night. We did not order it tonight. Victoria has gone back to her go-to cheese ravioli, no lobster cream sauce. There is also chicken and matzo ball soup, cream of asparagus soup, French onion soup, which I believe Lauren has ordered again. And I did order the baked brie salad, so we'll see what that, that is like. There is the mixed garden salad tonight, as well as the Caesar salad. The classic entrees are the same as always. Tonight's featured entrees are sauteed chimichurri beef, which is what Lauren has ordered. There is pecan crusted turkey medallions, grilled lemon pepper tilapia, which is Breda's choice this evening. A little spicy pepper next to it. There is chicken and seafood paella, spaghetti puttanesca, and braised lamb shank. And tonight I have gone with the filet mignon eight ounce from Cagney's, which is a $15 upcharge, which is interesting because we were talking about what we paid at Cagney's the other night, and each filet mignon eight ounce was $41 there, which Lauren and Victoria shared in the other in the other vlog, if you haven't watched that one, we went to Cagney's the other night, and you can check it out there. So here, it's only a $15 upcharge for one same filet mignon that we paid $41 for at the actual steakhouse the other night. The appetizers have arrived. There are the meatballs and the coconut shrimp. The coconut shrimp, while it's very tasty, it's more like breaded shrimp. There's only a slight hint of coconut, and it is served with uh, what equates in my palate to uh, an orange marmalade dipping sauce. The last appetizer we are trying is the baked brie salad. And this is puffed pastry and it's gonna have brie inside of it. Looks good. Those meatballs were really, really phenomenal. Breda, what did you think about the meatballs? Yeah, they're quite tasty. A little bit of spice, right? A little yeah. bit? Yeah, a little bit. And the bread was a nice crunch. It wasn't just beef, I don't think. It was beef and pork, I believe. I also really enjoyed the baked brie salad. 
Almost forgot, we also got the hummus. Comes with vegetables and some chips. Triangular chips to dip in it. Pita chips? Thank you, Breda. We requested the dessert menu early this evening to get a head start on decision making since we are trying to move the dinner along. The options tonight are chocolate eclairs, Snickers pound cake, roasted golden delicious apple, warm banana souffle, and Mexican chocolate cake. As always, the fruit plate and ice cream sherbet options are there. The no sugar added daily selection tonight is the lemon cream cake. Lauren's chimichurri beef has arrived. Victoria, Victoria has the New York strip steak. She's gone back to that. She enjoyed it the first time. Hey, nice Alaska sweater over there. And earrings. Oh yeah, and the, the Alaskan earrings. Breda's tilapia has arrived with potatoes. And my eight ounce filet with asparagus and sweet potato mousse has arrived. Can't say enough about how tasty the filet mignons here are from Cagney's on the Norwegian Bliss. For $15, it's a great way to treat yourself. Very highly recommended. Victoria, how was your New York strip steak? It was good. How many, right. how many, what score out of 10 would you give it? How many Victorias? An eight out of 10. How could it get a 10? Uh, I don't know, it's just like, the beef is quite dry. A little dry, but still good? Yeah. Okay. The Mexican chocolate cake is here and that looks really good. It's got a Dolce de Leche cap layer on the top of it there. And here is the Snickers pound cake with a big dollop of vanilla ice cream on top. Thought I would go on a little walk to close out today's vlog. We had a great dinner this evening. Just finished also playing some blackjack. Won a few hundred dollars, so that was a really fun way to end the evening. I'm gonna go pick the kids up from the kids club. Breda is already back in the cabin asleep, but I want to come out here and brave the elements for a little bit. It is raining and we left Alaska today. It was bittersweet, really enjoyed the time there, but tomorrow, tomorrow, we will be in my motherland of Canada. Tomorrow evening, we arrive in Victoria, Canada for a few hours. Mostly tomorrow is a day at sea, but tomorrow evening after dinner, we will be on Canadian soil. So be sure to come back and watch that video. I am gonna go inside from the rain. It's nice to be out here at one with nature, but I shall see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming along.